We go to High Point, North Carolina, Orlando. Welcome to the line of fire. Okay, my question deals with uh, replacement. I don't know if replacement theology is the same thing as all millennium. Right, so there are two different categories. Uh, the question is replacement theology, the idea that the church has replaced Israel in God's economy, that the role that God had in the earth for Israel is now fulfilled through the church or the promises that God gave to Israel now transferred over to the church, replacement theology, and amillennialism, which is an end-time scheme, which says there is no literal physical rule of Jesus on the earth. There is a spiritual rule. So amillennial, there is no physical millennium. Uh, do they intersect? So one is a, is a larger theological system. The other is an end-time end belief or uh, an understanding of prophetic scripture. There is no question that they overlap. Why? Because amillennialism does not see the physical promises to Israel being literally fulfilled. So if so you, are they, I'm sorry, are they being uh, anti-Semite? Anti or are they, are no, they not being, not necessarily. No, no, they're not necessarily being. There's, there's not necessarily Jew hatred in that, or believing lies about Jews. They're simply believing and understanding that all of the promises about a future kingdom are to be understood spiritually. There'll be a new heavens and a new earth forever and ever and ever. But they would not recognize the, the physical restoration of the Jewish people to the land of Israel today as fulfillment of prophecy because they would say that there will just be a, a spiritual fulfillment of those promises. Now, they are not anti-Semites. I, I know some that, are, that love the Jewish people. And, and that politically even support Israel, but they don't believe it is fulfillment of prophecy. I would say that these beliefs open the door to potential anti-Semitism, and that's what's happened through church history. But no, just because someone is amillennial does not mean in any way that they are, that they are necessarily anti-Semitic. Uh, certainly not. But again, it is a potential open door of replacement theology that can lead to anti-Semitism. 